and welcome back to this week's episode of All Good Choices with Cheryl and Haley. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 13. So excited. <laughs> 13 weeks, y'all. 13 reasons why. <laughs> Each week has been one reason why. Absolutely work, girl. <laughs> work. But we're back and we're better from our little hiatus. Which was last week, but <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, two in a row, you know. Yeah, it's look a, at us. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Taking us serious, yes. <laughs> um, what's been going on, everybody? What about you? What's going on? <laughs> I've de- I'm I'm determined to find a boyfriend. So, so if anybody's listening and they have anybody for Sherbert mm-hmm. over here, about my line, comment down below. <laughs> Trying to find a man for Cheryl. Maybe that'll be a fun little series on mm-hmm. the podcast. Mm-hmm. Maybe like every week or so, we'll do a little check-in. An update. See going. Yeah. Right it's now, a feat. There's like Everybody. three pros- prospects. Yeah, I don't even know if I would call them real prospects. Well, but... three different people that mm-hmm. we could see the potential in. Mm-hmm. We together as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <'cause, laughs> see the potential Because <laughs> that's even better is if you date one, you date the other. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. So we'll let y'all know how that goes, but on the on the search for love, oh, doing a lot of um, and we did a tarot card reading I was today. To say, we're doing yeah. a lot of those. Me and Eli behind the camera did one. We just did one with Cheryl mm-hmm. reading me for filth girl. I got the double card. <laughs> What's up with that? Um, so that was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> Mine was basically like I overindulge, but I am also indecisive, and I need to look for inner self. your higher self yeah your higher powerful goddess self yes yeah so you need to connect with that girl i hear that i hear that yes Utrid. <laughs> so um do y'all i was about to ask do y'all know who shane dawson is <laughs> well as we know shane dawson is making a comeback hashtag canceled but he just posted a video about conspiracy theories mm-hmm. <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> theories and i watched it sorry <laughs> sorry to all the, the people out there but i watched it and i was thinking about conspiracy theories and we we're talking about conspiracy theories and there's just so many and some of them were really fucked up yeah but, and a lot of them are really deep there was like i don't even know what the name of the show is but there's a show on netflix that i was watching a bit ago and um it's like all inside job that's what it's called okay. and it's like all the conspiracy theories like it's like the cia or whatever mm-hmm. and it's like uh like they're the one with the lizard people is like they're heat they they're that's why global warming is happening because they put heating lamps everywhere so the lizards aren't cold and it's like just like conspiracy theories like that mm-hmm. and i was really into that for like a week it was so yeah, good i just binged it yeah. yeah so we've been like talking about them a lot so we figured this week we would do kind of like a part one of conspiracy theories uh, two of my favorites for sure. The first one we're going to talk about is my favorite one because I wholeheartedly believe in it. Yeah. But, um, so it'll be really fun. So let's jump into this one, right? Did we land on the moon? Your opinion? No. Yeah, we have, but not, I don't think. Not the one on TV. Right, correct. Okay. I don't agree. I don't think we've ever been there. <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever is a bit of a stretch. I don't um, know. No, we definitely did not go that one time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, y'all know what I'm talking about when he said. Apollo 11. Yeah. Yeah. We were not there, girl. Right? Yep. Yeah. Eli says yes. So, so yeah. it's got to be true. <laughs> so we, obviously we did our research with this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we wrote down a whole bunch of notes about it. Kind of give you guys some background and then we'll throw in our little mostly my terrible opinions about it but um, <laughs> basically right here's what i believe this is why it's first i think they faked it to win the space race with yeah. Russia. yeah yeah, yeah. i think I that was the whole motivation behind it definitely. so that's the reason i think why. that's like accurate though yeah it makes sense it just seems like uh how did we go from like it blowing up a week before like test rockets and stuff to them literally being able to land on the moon and walk, live their lives freely, come home safe? I don't know. It makes no sense. And on top of that, America always has to be number one. Yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. So competitive we're the best country in the world, whatever. Of course. So why would they not fake it to be the first? Of course. Obviously. Who's going to check them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this was super interesting that I found, right? So I guess I don't know who... Y'all can fact check me, whatever. Um, <laughs> somebody did a survey, right, about like if the moon landing was fake. It said between six and twenty percent of Americans believe it was fake. 
25% of Britons spelled with an O. And 28% of Russians. That's they all believe about that Russians. Yeah, that it was faked. Which makes sense. Right. Because they were in the space race with them. So yeah. they're like, nah, bro. I don't believe it. No way they Yeah, because that means us. that means like like if it's like four people, one in four people basically. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I'm one of them. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> so um I was looking like deeper into it, right? Because it's always like the same. I guess we'll talk about it later, but it's the same, like, things that people always say, like, for the flag. Yeah, and stuff like that. But I've never actually really read about it. More so, this turned out as a joke, in context. Um, My uncle, if you're watching, (laughs) what's up? Um, He's, like, really into space and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so he'd, like, talk about it and whatever. And I just thought it was so funny how angry he would get when I would say that it was fake. My granny's like that, too. Just blows up and is like, that's so disrespectful. And I'm like, okay. She used to work for NASA, so she, like, gets, like, personally offended. I'm like, okay, chill. Yeah, it's, like, not that deep. So, but he'd always get really angry. So I thought it was really funny. So I just kept saying it, but I've said it so many times now that I'm like, well, I might believe it. <laughs> I might believe, I might it. believe it. So that's how that, this even like came into my brain. But, um, also I just like, don't really trust the government. So why would I trust NASA's telling me? Don't trust truth. your government kids. Just as Nick Miller said. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this book, apparently I never heard of it again, a lot of research. Um, and it's called, we never went to the moon. America's $30 billion swindle iconic <laughs> and it was published in 1976 and the guy was like a u.s navy officer a former one and apparently had a bachelor in english so, so he you know what he was saying i trust him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he basically said that like uh the success rate this is the exact percentage everybody 0.0017 percent that like that would be successful i guess yeah mm-hmm. I don't know how I came up with that. <laughs> um, so that's what he said in the book. And like people started believing it back in the day, you know, the olden days. Do you think you just made that number up? For sure. <laughs> Maybe For he did sure. some math. I'm sure he did some math, but like there's something wrong with it. <laughs> Obviously. He has a degree in English. <laughs> true, 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 true. Like true, true. absolutely not. Um, it's just so much information, y'all. So uh, there's this thing. It's called the American Patriot Friends Network. In 2009, they said that their reasoning, right? One of the reasons was that it was to distract from the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. So they created this whole thing to like, no, we're still good. Yeah. Whatever, like what we're doing, which also would make sense because even now when shit be happening, all of a sudden, like something else will happen. You know what I mean? Like another major. Yeah. 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 And Vietnam was just vastly unpopular. So yeah, I can totally see why they would want to do that. Yeah. However, Kennedy said that we would we would take a man to the moon by the end of the decade. So I feel like they really like had to rush it. They're like, especially okay, okay, yeah, 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 those, those yeah. Ice bullets is yeah. so special. <laughs> happen with him. But um, also, I don't know. They basically write this fact that I found. It just says that they said it. <laughs> that this group just said it. So don't know their authority with that. Um, what do you mean? They this group. Just oh explain. right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are no they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. They were just like, "Yep, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's what I said." Like it makes sense. So yeah, maybe that's what they're going on. There's a lot of things it's just logical. <laughs> yeah. So I guess um yeah, it's just logical thinking. Obviously, <laughs> we're becoming radicalized as we feel this. I know. Um, so this is like where the evidence comes in, right? Some of the stuff. The number one thing that people say is like the wave and the flag. Yeah. I don't really believe all that. Me and Eli have discussed this in We've watched a YouTube video about it <laughs> earlier. YouTube video. And they said that they put special bars in the flag to make it look like it was waving. Yeah. Which makes sense. So I don't fault them for that. I agree. Whatever. I don't know. It still looks kind of weird. Yeah. I guess it's just like for design purposes. Eli says, no, that's stupid. There's an atmosphere or something. What are you going to say? <laughs> it is, we'll talk about it during the break. We'll update y'all. But, um, so they put like the wire on the flag. So that's like debunked, right? Um, this other stuff though, like the videos that we watched and the stuff I was reading, like all the answers like <laughs> to debunk it were super confusing. So I was like, y'all are making, no, I don't <laughs> Like, so the next one, right? One of the main things I saw was that the angle and the shadows are inconsistent. So like, mm-hmm. people think it's like artificial lighting. Cause like where the sun was, whatever, like doesn't make sense. Which makes sense in my brain. Yeah. Because I think it was a movie set. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but then, with the videos and stuff we watched, they're talking about, like, 
all this extra stuff, like obviously because the, the atmosphere and the other objects on the moon, that obviously the lighting was going to be different because they're in different parts of the moon, apparently. Yeah, and the pictures. sun was just coming above the horizon and the, the stars Absolutely were in the pictures not. because it was blown out by the, when because the cameras really weren't that good, so it was blown out by the, you know, all that. Our cameras weren't good, but somehow we made it to the moon. Right, that's what I'm seeing, girl. What is that? What is that? People have watched this shit in black and white TV. Which is why it's so easy to fake. <laughs> right! Because <laughs> it's a black and white, terrible quality. And who's going to be like, man, that doesn't look like the moon. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're going to believe it. Right there. How would we know what it looks like? But And um, it's all this built up, like, excitement to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I saw somebody, I'd be like, hell yeah, we're on the moon right now. Even if yeah. I literally could see the strings. Right. <laughs> the fish wire. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Um, so that's like another thing, which in my brain makes sense, but I'm sure somebody down below, the <laughs> random people that find this video will <laughs> tell me how stupid I am. Um, and then also like in the pictures, I guess there's like a rock on the ground and it has a C on it. Mm -hmm. And so people think it's like marking for like a movie prop set, oh. like, like a marking on it. Uh -huh. um, but then the thing I was reading said that like, no, it was just like a, a piece of hair. What? That was on it. <laughs> it just happened to look like the letter C. That doesn't seem likely. Why would it be so defined on the rock? <laughs> yeah. A piece of hair? How would, how would hair have gotten on the rock? They're wearing <laughs> That's so real. Where did they get that? <laughs> That's so real. So just, <laughs> where did this hair come from? <laughs> like, can you imagine when they took off their helmets? And like, <laughs> they're just going to let it free. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah, dying. I'm sure. not really sure where a hair would have come from and how it would have landed so perfectly on that rock and shown up in a picture. That's see, that's a conspiracy theory right there. That's the hair on the rock. Yeah. Did he land on the moon? <laughs> Book by Haley. <laughs> Cause what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all to me in my brain. I used to say all the time, right? This is kind of intertwined. Mm -hmm. Also, I used to piss my uncle off, but again, <laughs> it had to say as it. I kept saying it, I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. That it's like um one of my old friends used to talk about it all the time with him because he gets so angry about how it's like a the earth is like we'll get to it i guess next episode teaser but like like the earth is flat but it's actually like a dome yeah my brother thinks that i think <laughs> we should have one next week but God. i kind of he's like, like king conspiracy theorist bro <laughs> but, um, it's like a dome right so like the whole thing is like they actually like can't go past like the dome uh -huh. so i don't know what that had to do with the rock but i just thought about it <laughs> Which also, like, there's no way we could have landed on the moon if it's a dome. <laughs> yeah, we can't leave. <laughs> we can't leave. It's but then that would be, like, one... That's a whole other thing, like... Right. But it's flat Earth. Where does one start? Where does one... When you're flying across the ocean, you just fly. <laughs> you're just flying from one end to the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So, basically, like, another, like, main thing... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, you know, it's like is that killing him so I by the <laughs> it really is I can just tell how, how much built up anger there is but um, Eli is not into conspiracy theories. not to into this one at least but <laughs> he does um, not believe it so I think they faked it for the space race right yes and I think In it's conclusion. like a movie set yeah like Stanley Kubrick this yeah, like he thing. was involved. They did a whole. I thing. didn't fact check his age though, so I'm not sure. But yeah. it seems plausible. Yeah, that he like directed it. Whatever they made that whole thing. Yeah, because he filmed The Shining, and in The Shining, yeah. the kid has the Apollo 11 sweater, and then he's like on the carpet, and he's making all like the shapes, the numbers, and, the symbolism. Yeah, apparently he's trying to tell us a message that he was forced to make it. Yeah, but I I think even if it wasn't him, it's always would definitely hire it. the director or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because didn't uh, one of them dudes that went on the moon, there was like some interview where they had said something. And, and he punched like, the guy in the face. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's really, <laughs> yeah. There's a, I think it's a, Buzz Aldrin, I think is, it's, I think it's him. So he's like, the moon landing was fake, the moon landing was fake. He's like, shut the fuck up and he punches him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's like 75 years old. Oh old as hell, God. just punches this like, Maybe 25 year old, 30 year old man in the face. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. He's getting defensive because it's true. So basically, <laughs> basically, right, uh, in 1977, all this shit is happening. That book came out. All these people, right? Some of this stuff's more recent, but all these people are trying to question it in conclusion yeah. to all of this. And so 
It's like NASA. Almost 10 years later. Yeah. NASA in 1977, after the book came out, people are like, did we land on the moon, girl? They came out with like a fact sheet, basically like, responding to all the claims and being like, this is actually stupid. Like you all are really stupid <laughs> for believing this. Um, but still, I don't believe NASA. <laughs> There's that episode on, of New Girl where Jess is like, they... They fake those pic. The, he's like, I saw the pictures on Google or whatever, and she's yeah. like, oh, they're edited. They're edited to make people like you. And you're like, oh, I was watching. I was like, people like me. <laughs> that feels personal. Yeah. But NASA obviously has denied all of this. Um, sure. Why would they come? The, that would be crazy if they came out and they were like, actually, everybody. They never admit it. We faked them. We need to find. Um, since we don't live that far from NASA, we need to go find somebody that's willing to talk. Mm-hmm. Oh, the I just want to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can um, blur their face out and do yeah. like a, the crazy voice thing. Yeah, like when it's just the outline, it's mm-hmm. all black. Yeah. We'll, we'll get in contact. Let us know, somebody. girl. Let us know. <laughs> but um, we're going to take... That's a conclusion to that, y'all. Let us know what you think down below In conclusion, the moon landing was fake. Thank you. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so we're going to take a quick little break, and then we're going to get on to the next little uh, conspiracy theory. So it'll be fun. Scene. Welcome back, back, everybody. And scene. <laughs> so the second one, right? This one's so fun. It's the Mandela effect. I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's like um, when you think you remember it one way, but it's but it was really way. different. Yeah. yeah. So we found this little quiz. It's got 20 things on it. I don't think we'll get through all 20, but I think it'd be fun to see if how many we actually remember. I have faith in myself. Mm-hmm. You think it'll get me right? Yeah, I think I, I get every single one right. Yeah, I think it's all enough. But yeah, let's we'll see. see. All right, let's start. Do not Google. Okay, caught it. Okay, name the family of bears in the children's series. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so it's one options. of these two, I think. I think it's the first top, the top one. I think it's very, it's Stain, right? Not Stein. I know it's, like, it's supposed to be Baron Stein. So maybe it's the so last one. Oh fuck, that was not a good start, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, we got it. <laughs> well, how's it normally said? Berenstein bears. Berenstein bears. bears. But so I think it's, it's the opposite. Berenstein. Yeah. That's the way it's spelled? Yeah. Okay, so we're going with the last one. I think. I don't know. Make a split decision, girl. Okay, go, 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 go. Did we find out if we got it right? What? Oh my god, we're going to do this whole thing. <laughs> sex okay. in the city. This one? Sex? Sex and the city? No, Sex and the City. Sex and the City, yeah. Sex yeah, and the City. I agree. Darth Vader. No, I'm your father. I am your father. Luke, I am your father. I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen Star Wars, so... <laughs> yeah! Don't talk me. Okay, no, I am your father. I am your father. Luke, I am your father. I don't I think, think he says Luke. No, I think that's true. I don't think he says Luke either. I think everybody thought he said Luke, but I don't think he did. Don't look at me like that, Eli. I'm just gonna go with I am your father. Okay. Yeah. We gotta fly through these, girl. What did the Disney Queen say to the mirror? I don't know. Magic mirror. mirror. Okay. Everybody thinks it's mirror, mirror, but it's magic mirror. I watched it. I didn't believe it. <laughs> Name the famous vampire movie star Brooklyn and Tom Cruise. Interview with the vampire, interview with the vampire. I've never seen that. Movie. Interview with A or with the? A? That one's a hard one. I don't know. I'm is that the vampire from Twilight? I think it is. I Carlisle? Carlisle? Is that you? <laughs> I'm gonna oh, go no, with... that's clearly Tom Cruise. <laughs> 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 no, it's a okay, I'm gonna go with interview with sure. the yeah. vampire. Oh I don't know. I'm trying to gauge from Eli's reactions, y'all, but he's not giving me anything. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Do you remember ne- Nelson no. Mandela dying in person? He in prison. Not, but that's where it came. It comes from, I guess. So no, right? Yeah, he did not die in prison. How do you remember this being spelled? Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? T-O-O-N. Yeah. T-O-O-N. Okay. All right. Flying through. Which one do you remember? For Breeze or for Breeze? Ooh. I'm going with this one. I feel like I've seen that bottle. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we're going with this one. Sure. I think it's wrong, but let's go with it. Well, if you think it's wrong. No, I feel like I've seen this bottle. For your opinion. I've never seen this, but for some reason, I feel like it's, it's this great. one. Right. But I... We have to start going. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing rapid fire right now. What do you remember? Oh. Fruit Loops? F-R-O-O-T? Or fruit, like, normally spelled? 
I think it's out of our O T, right? Or maybe not. Maybe because it was just the double. I was I was just saying because that looked yeah. like the double O's. I don't really right. remember. I didn't eat Fruit Loops a lot as a kid. Me either. <laughs> Low tier cereal. Yeah, more of a Lucky Charms kind of gal. Whoa. What? That'll be the next tier list. <laughs> All right, what should you remember? Coca Cola. These are exactly the same. Oh, the thing is, no difference. Okay, hyphen or no hyphen in Coca Cola? No hyphen. I don't think so, yeah. I don't think Go so. Go grab a Coke from the fridge, Eli. <laughs> Oscar Meyer with an E or Oscar Meyer with an A? My gut is telling me. One. No, my gut's telling me it's with an A. With an A? Okay. Because uh, it has to be. Why? There's no way it's actually with an E and it said Oscar Meyer. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they're trying to trick you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. an A, right? <laughs> He's like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback to what we said we got a ball. Which is correct, Monopoly Man. Without it. Without the thing. Yeah, without the payment. The eye, what is that called? Without Mon- the eyeglass. <laughs> without the third Mon- eye. Monopoly, thank you. Kit Kat with hyphen or without? Uh, <laughs> with? With? Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna say with two. Because it's like, it'll break. I don't know. Exactly. I'm probably not with these L's things. things. <laughs> this is like the SAT too. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. That's why I got 1120. <laughs> Which is the correct Pikachu? Black tail or no black tail? He has a black tail. <laughs> 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 oh no, this is so fun. We have time. So we So black tail? Black, black Black tail, no black tail. Which looks right to you? This one, but I don't know shit about Pokemon. I'm not Am I gay, yes or no? <laughs> Just no. We should take that one. <laughs> Why was that on here? Girl, okay, <laughs> stop seeing this ad. That was inappropriate. <laughs> okay, back to the main topic. In my mind, I'm not an expert in Pokemon. <laughs> okay, back to the main plot. But I think that he had a black tail. Me too. Okay, so what the fuck are black tail? <laughs> you left storm me off. Gay quiz! <laughs> Why is it gay quiz? <laughs> Do you remember Sinbad playing the genie in the movie called Shazam? Not to be confused with Shaq playing a genie in the movie called Kazam. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> is that like a riddle? What is this? <laughs> They're really trying to trick us. This is for real riddle. I've never seen either of those movies. I don't know. I don't know. That's automatically wrong. <laughs> yeah. In Forrest Gump, when he was sitting at the bus stop, how did the line go when he was talking about the chocolates? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's exactly what Was is. and is. Oh. Life is. Life was. Life oh. is. Why would he say life was like a box of chocolates? Because he's telling us about his story before. Right? Life is. I, I don't... I feel like when he delivers the line, there's no... Life is like a box of chocolates. I think it is that. Is or was? <laughs> Why are we talking about past tense? Is that what you're saying? Was? <laughs> Again, Eli's giving me some type of eyes. It is was, right? It is. It is <laughs> or <laughs> was? <laughs> Let's do is. <laughs> Twin! <laughs> How many people were shot at the bar? <laughs> oh, <my gosh>. oh. <laughs> I read that wrong. Did they use an ice bullet? How many people were in the car when Kennedy got shot? This seems like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> so there's definitely four, six, or five. I think it was four. I think it was four as well. JFK is and Jackie. And then, and then the, person the, the, driver, seat. the driver and then the, the secret service. It's station. four. Who the fuck would think it's why would there be somebody sitting in between them? Maybe it was a bigger car? I don't know. It's four. Four. The hell? And Dimitri's painting of the Mona Lisa, she's smiling. She's smirking. Mm-hmm. She's okay. not serving face, but she is. And the Bible verse, uh, no. 
And the four wolfers are saying the lamb in five. What does the lamb lie with? Wolf, leopard, or lion? I'm not up on my Jesus shit. <laughs> wolf? Leopard? Lion. Lion? <laughs> He's like, I don't like know. <laughs> I wish they had a camera view pointing at you so they could see what you're doing. But, uh, based on his reactions, I'm going to go with lion, but I don't think that's right. Why would the lion be lying with the lion? I feel like it would be a wolf. That makes more sense. Like farms and shit and a wolf comes. Sure, but like it could be like the lamb, like the lion lying with the lamb because there it was like, it's like predator and prey. Yeah. <laughs> but a wolf is a predator. Or an it's definitely not a leopard. <laughs> right, we can rule that out. I'm <laughs> just using my context clues. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Should we do? Eeny, meeny, meeny, meeny. No. Okay. We should. Tiger, rock, tiger, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. 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 Wolf or lion? Wolf. wolf. I'll do lion. Yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so it's a wolf. It's a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> In the famous Christmas book about the Grinch, what is correct title? Tide fuck me, bro. Title The Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. I don't remember. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yeah. Easy. Oh, we're done. Calculate your results. Ooh. Thank you so much, Shay Bowen, for creating this. Thank you. <laughs> you are affected. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it doesn't oh <coughs> it doesn't tell me what I got right. What? Wait, go down. Right here. No, that just takes me to the next quiz. What? No way! Oh my god, we didn't know what she's going to Whoa. Which it just tells, tells us that we were affected by the Mandela effect. It doesn't tell us which ones you got wrong. You come from the old reality and shift into this reality. Most people remember these things being the way you remember them. That's it? That's all we get, y'all. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Terrible. That was so terrible. <laughs> what a terrible way to end this episode. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Which ones are right or wrong? Because <laughs> what the heck? Maybe in um, editing or something, if we have time, we'll put like the real ones or something. Why would they not? <laughs> so why would they not tell us? There's literally nothing. What's this girl's name? Shea Bowen? Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> fuck this girl. <laughs> what the hell? That's fucked that's up. That's it. That's all. It doesn't tell us, so. <laughs> that's terrible. I'm really pissed about it. <laughs> well, y'all, <laughs> on that note, we're going to call it quits and this see. so fucking funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Alka Choices. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, comment down below, follow all us good. on the show, socials, at all good, oh, I don't remember our app. All good PC. <laughs> yeah. On Insta, the, I'll be in the link in the description. Uh, and our Q&A is always down there too, so submit questions. And then next week, we'll be continuing the discussion of conspiracy theories. Put on our chin for hats, y'all. We're in it to win it. See you all next week. And scenes. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of All Good Choices. If you like what you're hearing, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to like and comment and let us know what you think. You can stream this anywhere you stream podcasts, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok at All Good Choices PC and Twitter at All Good PC. Thanks again to Maserati Click Productions for producing this podcast. See you guys next week.